your app takes an input and adds it to the total expense. But you would not want your output to be seen on console. You would want it on top or bottom somewhere like that so that it's easier to view. So let's see, let's say we add it on top saying h1 tag and it should show here say total or just the number say zero for now now refresh this does not look good so what we'll do is we'll align everything on the column so we'll say flex direction column if you want to read more about flex and how this works this is one excellent Excellent resource, flex, CSS layouts. Oh, I think this one, yes. Just see this. This one. I'll put this link in description, but it explains everything about flex and you can try all of it and this is for free. It's a good place to run, learn CSS. At least go through this so that you get the basics of flex and how this works and how you can use it to align items coming back to the topic so if we do this this looks little better so what we need is we don't need to put zero ourselves what we need is we need to get the heading element right then we need to set the heading element to total expense and where we are console dot log doing this console dot log instead of doing this we need to set the heading element to total expense every time function is called I think these three things if we do we'll get it so to get the heading element first you need to put an ID To get we use again query selector I think by now you would have got some hang of it heading total this time let me check the spelling it's, it's the same the easy way to check a spelling is you know once you select it the other is also selected so you know it's the same thing set the heading element to total expense okay heading L dot now this is something new this is called text content and just set it to total expense and this should work for now so this should work so here there is nothing but the initial value now should show zero see I refreshed it's zero again because this is working again text content if you want to read about it read it in Mozilla it's very nice you would see in other courses maybe inner HTML or inner text text content is the best thing so why go ahead and check the docs set the heading element to total expense so right now what's happening if you do 20 plus this value is not coming here plus value is not coming what to do about it all we need to do is do the same thing here maybe you, you guys should type this out because once you type it your hands will be more accustomed to this and you can do better coding let's see now 20 see this reflects now so 20 plus 200 to 20 let's add 13 more this works that's pretty cool right you might not realize that uh, you have understood basic constructs of programming you have learned how to take input you have learned how to show output you have learned how to write functions and you have learned how to store values and change values basic things small nine first 10 chapters of javascript kind of completed and in a fun way i hope you are you guys are having fun in the next 
few videos we'll see how we can show the output better when what i mean by better is right now you see just the added value it's the, it works like a calculator but in an expense app you want to see rows of your expenses with details of your expenses with date of your expenses this app is going to be amazing don't worry about the usage more worry about what you are learning more but i'm sure you will love it once it is done you can share it with everyone and share it with your friends let me show you something this app of us is now on github as well and i'll be hosting it on on netlify so that you guys can see but guys pay attention to the videos of github uh, if you don't know how Git, github all of this works go go through that video again and learn to traverse the code so now you see all the code is here this is the new code is all here if you want to see the first code the counter code it's here you see so you can see the code if you miss something in the videos you can always come back to github and see that course see that chapter in a branch and you know just copy from here don't copy keep typing the more you type the more you will learn don't copy code from here that's the worst thing you can do also go to netlify thing so that you, you host whatever you make so that you can get feedback feedback is very important when you are coding ui or anything because people would when people love your product and people appreciate your work you want to do more more of it so keep coding and next lessons will be fun next chapters will be fun i hope you enjoy programming keep the feedback flowing follow me on instagram and when i ask you to vote or comment please do that let's keep it very interactive on both sides also like comment subscribe my youtube channel and share it with your friends people who want to learn javascript people who want to learn coding they can come here thank you